Hi class, I am very excited to introduce an artist to you named Wayne Tebow. He is famous for doing these interesting displays of common everyday things like cake slices. Look at these colors. Look at that pastel light tints of things. Look at how they're all in a row and look at how we really get a sense of the shape of a cake slice. Here's another one by Wayne Tebow. Here he's thoughtfully arranged some really yummy looking treats onto a plate and painted it very seriously. So in his paintings, it looks at first like he's just using the regular realistic colors for things. But when we take a close look, we can see that around the edges sometimes there's little sneaks of surprising colors. Here there's red, purple. Here's a slice of green right here. So he does surprising things with color, and that's why they look so sweet and exciting. And there's always like a dark shadow made of purple or blue. I love this one because it's also done like a cake slice, but it's a sandwich and it looks like a funny little face. And here is another one showing the variety of full cakes, showing how he can be a little bit whimsical and make all of these interesting things out of the same repeating shape of a 3D circle. He also did people sometimes. I wanted you to know he did experiment with other things besides treats. And here's a landscape. This is kind of a weird view of a steep hill. So we're gonna focus on the cake slice for our project. Get ready to think about cake, how it's made, the flavors you like, and how you would make one yourself. This is just a different artist that's working today. He does giant donuts. We're gonna do a big slice of cake. This is also an artist that did a cake slice called Klaus Oldenburg. He did puffy, stuffy, giant sculptures that we still see in museums all the time. So take a look at these shapes. Because we have to build an armature for our sculpture, you're gonna to have to get really up close and personal with what shape is an actual cake slice. Think to yourself, think to yourself silently, which one of these shapes is most like a cake slice? Think about it and keep it in your mind and don't give away your answer. So the first step of building our armature is to cut a triangle shape. We're gonna trace a piece of cardboard onto paper. And it's not exactly a triangle, it has a curve, but you're gonna cut it out carefully. You're gonna cut two of those. And then we're gonna tape them onto another piece of paper. Lots of wide pieces of tape will keep your armature strong. Then we're gonna plaster over top. This is the second day when we add plaster that hardens for the next time. I've already added pencil lines onto this dry plaster to show where the frosting will go. And you'll even have chance to make toppings that can be glued to the top and later painted. So you are gonna have an exciting time making a cake. Please watch the demonstration once more for building your armature.